Hi, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Tichyanguru. Now we are going to see about Data Structures Unit 5. So first we are going to see about Graph ADT. A graph is a pictorial representation of a set of objects where some pairs of objects are connected by links. The interconnected objects are represented by points termed as vertices and the links that connect the vertices are called edges. So display graph vertices, display graph edges, add a vertex, add an edge creating a graph. So these are the options we can do it in the graphs. So first graph and its representations. So the representation of graph can be done in two ways. One is adjacency matrix and another one is adjacency list. So first is the matrix. So the adjacency matrix is a way of representing a graph into a matrix structure in combinations of zeros and ones. Then adjacency list, an array of list is used to store edges between two vertices. The size of array is equal to the number of vertices. Each index in this array represents a specific vertex in the graph. So the entry at the index i of the array contains the linked list containing the vertices that are adjacent to the vertex i. Next is the graph traversal. Breadth first so traversal for a graph is similar to breadth first traversal of a tree. The only catch here is unlike trees, graphs may contain cycle so we may come to the same node again. To avoid processing a node more than once, we use a boolean visited array. For simplicity, it is assumed that all vertices are reachable from the starting vertex. For example, in the following graph, we start traversal from vertex 2. When we come to vertex 0, we look for all adjacent vertices of it. So 2 is also an adjacent vertex of 0. So if we don't mark visited vertices, then 2 will be processed again and it will become a non-terminating process. So we have to always mark when, the, when we visit the vertices. The next is graph traversal. The depth first traversal of a graph is similar to drip, depth first uh, traversal of a tree. The only catch here is unlike trees, graph may contain cycles. So we may come to the same node again. To avoid the processing, it's similar to the breadth first search, we have we use boolean visited array. So when we come to vertex 0, we look all the adjacent vertices of it. So 2 is also an adjacent vertex of 0. If we don't mark visited vertices, then we 2 will be processed again and it will become a non-terminating process. So then directed acyclic graph, a directed acyclic graph DAG is a graph which does not contain a cycle and has a directed edges. We are given a DAG, we need to clone it. That is, create another graph that has copy of its vertices and edges connecting them. So a DAG is a directed acyclic graph, a type of graph which nodes are directly related to each other and don't form a directional closed loop. So in the practice of analytics engineering, DAGs are often used to visually represent the relationship between your data models. And then topological ordering, topological ordering, sorry, sorting for a directed acyclic graph is a linear ordering of vertices such that for every directed edge UV, vertex U comes before V in the ordering. So topological sorting for a graph is not possible if the graph is not a DAG. For example, a topological sorting for the following graph is 5, 4, 2, 3, 1, 0. There can be more than one topological sorting for a graph. For example, another topological sorting of the following graph is 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 0. The first vertex in topological sorting is always a vertex within degree as 0. Topological sorting can be implemented recursively and non-recursively. Then shortest paths. Dijkstra algorithm is used to find the shortest path between two points in weighted graph. It is essential for solving problems such as network routing and mapping. Zero. 
Dikshra algorithm finds the shortest path between a given node and all other nodes in a graph. This algorithm uses the weights of the edge to find the path that minimizes the total distance that is weight between the source node and all other nodes. The next is minimum spanning tree. In a spanning tree, the edges or may not have may or may not have weights associated with them. So therefore, the spanning tree in which the sum of edges is minimum as possible, then that spanning tree is called minimum spanning tree. One graph can have a multiple spanning tree, but it can have only one unique minimum spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree, MST, is a subset of the edges of a connected edge weighted graph that connects all the vertices together without any cycles and with the minimum possible total edge weight. It is a way of finding the most economical way to connect a set of vertices. Thank you.